Hey, it's Cameron, your CW star. And we're Neon Trees. And CW Star Sounds. It started with a whisper. So right now, I'm sitting down with Brandon, Chris, Elaine, and Tyler. Thank you guys so much for allowing us to interview you today. Now, you guys are kicking off your North American tour tonight. You're with Maroon 5, Owl City, right here in Columbus, Ohio. Are you guys excited, and what are you guys expecting? Yes. Yes! Uh, we're expecting, uh, well, it's a sold-out crowd, yeah. so that's a lot of people in a, in a room singing along to songs, and we're just excited to be out with the bands that we're out with. It's mm -hmm. really good. You had a baby last year. I did, true. How is being a rock star having a brand new newborn baby? It's great. I, it's nice because my husband and I are on the same page. He stays at home with Bryce when we have to go out and they'll come and meet me on tour every couple weeks and we kind of maximize our time that way. And It works right now, you know, That's so awesome. it's good. Being the only girl in the band, what's the biggest pet peeve that the other guys do being a girl on the road with them? I think my biggest pet peeve in general is people whistling in public. And it has nothing to yeah. do with guys or girls. And they I don't do it. The tone of a guy's It's probably girl. worse. I used to love whistling, and I haven't whistled in probably, this is five Jesus. years. Wait, wait, I, I want you to try, okay, wait. Takes can you do something right? Try to whistle for me right now. See I'm if you can whistle. I'm not good at it. I try just, it, let's see if you can That's why he needs to stop. Well, no, the muscles are gone. <laughs> and I recently got braces, and so because of that, it's hard for me to whistle as well. well. You try to whistle now. See? It's a little bit beautiful. There. I never how to beautiful. No way. Which I love about Tyler. It's like my favorite thing about it's him. Like yeah. Now, what you did learn how to do, and I gotta say, last year everybody talks at least once a day. Everyone at the CW offices have heard me the last two weeks. It started with a whisper. Yeah. Tell me about the moment you, whoever did, came up with that melody. Because honestly, that was the biggest hook last year. Thank you for saying so. Um, we're a lot more fearless about the way we wrote our music, and, and we didn't think too overly about it. I think sometimes when you're in a band, you you know, you want to be cool and you want to be edgy, and I think we were just kind of like, let's let's write something with with tongue in cheek and character, and, and that people are going to want to sing over and over again, and it, it worked. What I also love too is kind of how you got your band name. Yeah. Um, from in and out the palm trees there, one of my favorite burger places. Yeah. So I have to ask, what do you guys order when you go there? Do you guys get animal style? Yeah, the food's fantastic. I mean, me and him grew up in Southern California where, it's, where it kind of started, so. Yeah, absolutely. We, it's, in, it's probably forever in our blood. I'm sure their spread was our blood. Now, on your guys' new album, Picture Show, um, I'm very excited because towards the end you kind of slow things down a bit and yeah. two of my favorite tracks are Still Young and I Am The DJ. Cool. Is that a preview of kind of the direction you guys are going and on that note, where do you guys see yourselves in the future as a band? What do you guys want? I think the way we started the record was a lot more energetic. I'm glad you noticed. I think the sequence was really important to us and uh, it did kind of leave off where Habits ended, our first record, and I think there's going to be a maturity on the third record, but I, I, I don't think we will ever lose the fun nature of our music and the ener energetic yeah. side, and I think we've paid more attention even more on this record to what works live, and I think we know as a band, live is where our like career will always reside the most. It's great. Um, question for you, Tyler. Yep. You said that you've watched Sex in the City through all the seasons yes. seven times. Yes. So, do you watch the Carrie Diaries on CW and how have you liked I it? I was telling Elaine that she didn't know it was on yet. And I was I've telling seen commercials, but yeah. we're not home much. So. Yeah, and I, I've seen the first episode. And I try not to think of it as a prequel yeah. to the show and more just as its own thing. And I think it's got its charm. I, I think every I give it every show a little bit of a chance. I like shows that are light that I can kind of follow a loose story uh, on plane rides and tour buses. So I think it's kind of perfect for that. I mean, and me and her loved Gossip Girl as well. Oh yeah. And now that it's yeah, over. the last episode. I know, it's over yes, now. Is. They're fans of Carrie Diaries. Now, <laughs> I love how you have said in the past that you guys kind of pride yourself um, being rock and roll in your music and not so much with the over drug use and the drugs, but how does it feel being in that atmosphere? Being a role model. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think we all recognize we are in the position to be a role model, yeah. but I don't think we like... Beat people over the head with our morals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you just have to recognize too that if you're writing music, 
uh, that's on the radio these days that you are raising the next generation. Yeah. And like I said, you don't have a choice, and so you need to choose your words wisely. A few months ago, I got asked to participate in Red Ribbon Week and go oh, speak awesome. speak to some elementary yeah. school kids. It just felt really good to be part of that and like help like, in whatever way I could to let these kids know, you know, what the dangers are out there, and then you know they can choose for themselves, you know, eventually. But it's it's cool to. to well, as a Put true fan there. myself, I want to let you guys know, it really is inspiring um, to see a band out there standing up for what you guys stand up for sure. and not letting it hinder your energy, your songwriting, I mean, the hits you put out. So thank you for that. Sure, thank and you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for our interview today. Thanks um, for being a fan. This has been an absolute blast. Awesome, thank, thank you. you. If you want more information about Neon Trees, their new album is out on iTunes Picture Show. Make sure you follow them on Twitter, like them on Facebook, and go check them out.